VMware Go is not only a great way to help you jumpstart virtualization, it also provides a full suite of applications to help you manage your IT infrastructure. In this video, you'll learn how you can perform many IT management functions free with VMware Go, such as scanning your entire infrastructure for missing security patches, detecting hardware asset information on your entire network, see all the software titles installed on your machines, you can even create and manage help desk tickets. It's important to note that these additional features in VMware Go aren't just used to manage your virtual infrastructure, but your physical infrastructure as well. Let's go ahead and get logged into VMware Go. Just use the same credentials you used when you registered at VMware.com. Before I really get into it too much, I should mention that VMware Go is developed in partnership with Shavlik. Shavlik's NetChip Protect Engine is used for all the scanning and patch scanning, and you can learn more about Shavlik anytime by visiting shavlik.com. So let's talk about patch management. Uh, so VMware Go can scan uh, a group of your machines, a single machine, uh, a whole domain or an IP range. What's nice about uh, Shavlik patch scanning built into the VMware Go is that it not only scans for missing Microsoft patches, but it also uh, scans for third-party patches, which are usually uh, some of the biggest security vulnerabilities found on networks uh, apps such as Adobe or Apple iTunes. So I'm going to, this first uh, screen I, when I visit patch management to run a patch scan, just tells me a little bit about uh, what patch management is. Um, I'm going to click to not show this again. I'm going to get started with the actual scan. So if I uh, choose to scan using my current credentials, essentially what this means is that uh, it will run as the currently logged in user on the Windows system. So the scanner needs admin privileges, so I could choose not to uh, run as my current credentials and it would prompt me for a different login and password. So I'm going to kick off the patch scan here. So this screen here um, just indicates that the patch scan has started. Uh, what you're really looking for is under my recent items here that it's uh, running this patch inventory scan right now. When the scan finishes, I can view the scan results and it'll tell me that in fact it scanned one machine and it found 40 missing patches at which point I can click to view those so I, I can see I'm missing three critical patches and uh, seven important patches and a moderate patch. Um, I can take and export those out to an Excel spreadsheet if I want for further analysis or a PDF file. At any point under the patch management in the navigation, I can I can view a summary of my patches that are missing. Now I can see here I've only run the patch scan on one workstation, whereas if you did run this on many systems, you'd see the breakdown here. Uh, clicking on there tells me what system I ran it on in a summary of the missing patches. So VMware Go just provides a really good mechanism for you to scan all your machines for missing patches. Also, uh, just to, to scan and manage hardware asset information, uh, VMware Go provides the ability to scan your machines on your network in a similar fashion to patch scanning. Um, so I'm going to go ahead again. There's a splash screen that talks about what hardware, hardware inventory scanning is. I'm going to get started. Uh, this time I'm, I'm going to uh, scan a different machine uh, for uh, hardware information. Same thing, it's always the same metaphor. This uh, middle screen tells you that the scan has started while on the right under my recent items it shows that the scan is running. You can view the scan results then in fact told me one machine was scanned. And after viewing the hardware inventory I see that uh, that system now has hardware information available uh, for me to look at. If I were to click on the machine name 
Um, I could get details on that. How many hard drives it has, the, the NICs uh, cards it has, uh, what OS is running on it, what CPUs. Uh, if I've done software scanning and patch scanning, you'd see that here as well. Um, so um, just to illustrate that, you know, I'm going to go back to the machine list I was just on. And, and so this yellow triangle or alert symbol next to my own system name, um, Remember, I ran a patch scan on that, so uh, this yellow alert is just telling me I'm missing patches. I haven't started, I haven't run a hardware scan yet on my own system, so I'm going I'm to do that here. Um, so you can see it pre-fills your machine name. Um, so again, the hardware inventory scan runs um, and uh, comes back. If I view the scan results, um, you can see now that I do have hardware information for my system as well. And uh, so pretty handy. So so what I'm going to do now is, is actually start scanning some software with the software uh, scanner. Um, again, same, same metaphor, scan for software, uh, splash screen that explains what software scanning is. I'm going to run software scan on my own system. So th this is obviously all pretty fast. You know, I'm, I'm doing scanning on on uh, on systems in real time here, and uh, so now I can see that this gray box next to my software inventory is incremented to 104, so I can view that inventory. Um, I see that it found new software um, when it scanned my system. Um, now, if I were to actually look at the hardware inventory, uh, see the, the the machine grid breakdown actually shows that this system has 104 titles on it. Um, kind of a nice way just to inventory everything on your network. So again, this is not limited just to virtual systems either. So this is anything that's on your network. So if you run a hardware scan and you specify an entire domain or an IP range, it's going to uh, inventory systems uh, that it finds it on that uh, network. Okay, so now the last thing is a uh, help desk. And uh, with help desk, uh, as part of VMware Go, you can create and manage help desk tickets. So I'm going to click on just to add a new ticket. Uh, initially, a splash screen comes up telling me what uh, help desk tickets are all about. And uh, I'm going to choose to not show that again. First thing is to provide a short summary of the incident. Type in or choose the email address for the requester. Choose or type in the assigned to email address. Give it a priority. I'm going to assign this just a low priority. <clears throat> and a due date. Make the status of this ticket new. And it's a hardware. Now these pick lists, you noticed I was typing in these and whenever I type a value it does add it to the drop-down list automatically. So hardware was in the list already because I had created a ticket and categorized it hardware. And a full description. So I have a couple tickets now that I've added. So one of the handy things about Help Desk is that you can manage your help desk tickets, meaning you can analyze your open tickets, look at a breakdown of those tickets, see how many are on hold in progress, uh, see what the assignment breakdown is for those tickets, uh, analyze tickets that you've closed, uh, analyze a breakdown of those tickets. Uh, very useful, very nice way to manage help desk tickets. 
So there's a high level overview of the free IT management applications that come with VMware Go. So throughout this demo you've probably noticed that uh, there's a lot of functions within the navigation that say Go Pro next to them. And what that means is that if you sign up for VMware Go Pro, you'll get these Go Pro functions as well. The Go Pro functions that you'd get in addition to the free IT management applications are, first of all, with Help Desk, you'd get a user portal so that you could give your users a website where they could actually enter Help Desk tickets themselves. Um, with Patch Management, uh, the pro feature is uh, the ability to actually deploy patches to your systems. Uh, again, Shavok Net Check Protect is a very powerful uh, patch scanning engine um, that detects missing patches above and beyond just Microsoft patches. Uh, many other uh, third-party applications are detected as well and managed, such as Apple iTunes, Adobe Reader, Java, Safari, and many other applications. License management is also an addition that you'll get with VMware Go Pro. Uh, that's the ability to take the software scan data you found on your network and categorize it into software license files. Hardware asset management is another feature you'll get with VMware Go Pro. The ability to assign asset information, asset tags, service data, group assets into groups, get reports on hardware asset information. So I encourage you to take a look at the VMware Go Pro video to learn more about the features that you'll get with VMware Go Pro.